Hey, it's Kevin Smets, Smash City Studios, here with your Episode 3 non-spoiler review of The Skeleton Crew. This episode, uh, the word of the day is homage. A lot of callbacks, a lot of homages to the original trilogy. This episode almost seemed like a love letter to uh, A New Hope and uh, parts of Empire Strikes Back. Uh, a lot of adventure. Uh, I love a good escape story without getting too spoilery. Um, a lot of the stuff, if you saw the trailers, you're going to finally see a lot of those. You're going to see the most famous shot of Jude Law as his character in the show. Like You see that, that scene here in this episode and a couple of the great story beats that are revealed in the trailer you see. But I'm trying to be non-spoiler with it and kind of just give you the overview. But if you're a fan of A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back, I'm not saying they did it as well. I'm just saying that they uh, definitely were doing some callbacks to that with uh, some great escape action, some great kind of stealth action, uh, and uh, you get a nice uh, space scene too. And I, and I don't want to get too, give too much away if you haven't seen it yet since it's going up so early, but you get a nice space scene. Uh, I They do introduce a new character that my daughter is going to absolutely love, and I think all the kids will love too. Many shades, to me it was shades of Labyrinth or Harry Potter with this new character. Um, and that mystical, you know, obviously with the Goonies and everybody's been saying that, but I've been trying to find other um, properties that are comparison. And this one I would think is like Labyrinth um, or like the old like Jim Henson, like fantasy type things. And then Harry Potter. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about when I see Harry Potter. It's almost on the nose. And the visuals are excellent this episode. I do like the wide shots. They almost look very much like matte paintings, almost not to a fault, but they look like matte paintings. But that it brings back that 80s vibe from the original movies. Uh, and I like that. Uh, the kids chemistry with the actor, with Ju uh, Jude Law was great. I thought you could tell that they were having fun on set. You've seen behind the scenes vignettes and you could see that uh, must've been fun for the kids to like work with such an established actor and for Jude Law to interact with these kids. Uh, I think for the first episode, Jude Law plays Jod like really like you're not really sure where where he's at or where he's coming from. The episode does have a lot of those answers, by the way. Um, they are not stretching it throughout the season. And I think that also goes towards how this is a family oriented show. Um, they, they give you some answers pretty quick, whereas I think a show like Andor or a well, Acolyte, we know, took forever to, to answer some questions uh, to a fault. So. As far as some of the questions that we've been asking after the first two episodes as to what At Atten is, um, if we can trust certain characters, most of that is answered um, in a way where you're still looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. But I was surprised that by the end of episode three, we know so much. So that's why I'm really keeping it kind of close to the vest here, as does Jude Law's character, to be honest. I would say there's some more lore that has been added to it as well. And I do, there's a cool KOTOR you know me, KOTOR. A nice uh, shout out for a thing for KOTOR. Uh, there's a couple plot points that were kind of for, like led in before. I'll get into that when I talk it on the Jedi Way this week. But there's one uh, aspect from the uh, third act that is like totally choreographed. And I think it would have been better if they didn't choreograph that. It would have been better as a surprise. But instead, you're just waiting for it, which sometimes is cool. Hitchcock one time said that better than an exploding bomb in a diner is a two minute scene where the, the ticking time bomb is counting down and you know what's going to happen. So maybe it's more of that. I think it was Hitchcock. I might be wrong. Maybe it was Stephen King. I don't know. But uh, I remember hearing that in film school. So, yeah, all in all, my thoughts are uh, there's a great new character that everybody's going to love. I'll probably <laughs> there'll be uh, lots of merch for it. I'm talking this is on levels of. Uh, cuteness uh that we were getting maybe not quite the grogu level but you know, pork level maybe if you like the porgs and if you didn't i don't know what to say um but uh, as far as the kids i thought kb was the sound out stand out this time and i think she's going to factor in uh a lot in uh coming up in the future so all in all uh i thought it was good i'm looking forward to talking more and in the uh jedi way for spoilers i will just say i'm appreciating the show um, I don't like, it's not blowing me away, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And that's what matters. Like if you could sit down, forget your worries for an hour or half an hour, whatever it is, and enjoy Star Wars, then what's better than that? You know? And if you can do that, then, uh, all the power to you. And, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the aspects of Treasure Island, um, with this. This is a very Treasure Island with Long John Silver and, uh, uh, yeah, I think Jim Hawkins, it's kind of like that vibe. So if you don't know that story, it, it has that vibe going for it with Long John Silver and Treasure Island. And I really like that story growing up. So I'm interested to see where it's going. They answered a lot of questions tonight. At the end of the episode, you're like, whoa, I know a lot now. 
Uh, but that's probably cool. So now uh, we'll kind of blaze forward and tell new parts of the story. So if you're ready for some fun adventures, tons of callbacks to A New Hope, few from Empire Strikes Back, uh, and uh, as far as character dynamics go, dynamics go, and if you love a good escape story and some good fun uh, uh, back and forth with Jude Law, I mean, I was prepared to talk about where Jude Law is or who he is, uh, but they really answer it by the end of this episode. So be prepared for a lot of answers. And uh, yeah, that's what I have for now. I hope you enjoy the episode and you let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you thought of the third episode of Skeleton Crew. And I'll be on the Jedi Way tomorrow, or if you're seeing this today, it'll be later today. I don't know what's posted later this week and I'll talk about it. But until then, you're watching Smash Diddy Studios. Check out all of our KOTOR comp content, Knights of the Old Republic, a big Revan guy. And uh, yeah, we'll continue with more content like this. And uh, let us know what you thought of Skeleton Crew.